All right, ladies, be very jealous. Very jealous. I'm sitting here next to Clark from American Idol, <laughs> looking very dapper in a suit. Thank wow. You. Thank you very much. You have to see what he looks like in person, guys, even better than on television. Oh you're too much. You're too kind. <laughs> How are you feeling? You're glowing. You're happy? Yeah, I feel great. Um, really happy with the performances tonight. It just felt so good on stage. And then after, you kind of have that high of like, oh, I think I did so well. And it just felt really good tonight. It looked good. Thanks. You killed it. You absolutely killed it. What were some of the, like, what's the best part of singing two songs? And what's kind of like the worst part of singing two songs? Honestly, I can't think of a bad part of singing two songs. Um, I l Ideally, you know, when we play a show, we're going to play 10, right, or more. So I love, you know, part of this competition, it, it, you, only, you only have one song, you'll have 90 seconds to sing it. And that's a restriction that we kind of got to go by, and you just got to make it happen. So now that we're doing two songs, it's kind of loosening up the reins a little bit and letting us play more, and I am all for it. I think it's... I love it. I'm happy that we're doing it this way now. Did you ever have vocal lessons? I mean, did you kind of just wake up and you were like, all right, I got this. I can sing. You know, I was, I think, eight, and my parents were singing in a gospel trio. Um, it was uh, those two for, it was for a church thing, and there was another lady uh, who was an alto, and, she went, and they were just practicing in the car, but the third lady, she wasn't there. So I was like, oh, I'll just sing her part. I'll sing Shelly's part. I think her name was Shelly. I said, I'll just sing her part. And they're like, they're like, okay, this is like complicated harmonies, eight-year-old Clark in the back seat. All right, go ahead. And I had heard it enough, and, and I just started singing along. And they were like, what in the world? Like, we had no idea. So that music in a whole came, came very uh, naturally to me. But uh, I've taken a couple voice lessons with uh, Brett Manning, uh, his studios, and I went, I went from a good voice, and after having his singing success thing, I went to a the voice I have now. You know, where that that high range, that power, I owe it to him. So I absolutely had it naturally, but I made it a point to my mom made it a point to make sure that I worked hard and not just settled on what I already had naturally. Wow, eight years old, everybody, eight years old, singing in the back seat. And now, I guess, if we pulled up next to you and you were singing in the car, we'd be like, oh, my God, it's Clark from American Idol. <laughs> right, I guess so. I guess so. Do you sing in the car when you're driving? Oh, oh, yeah. You know, in the car when I'm driving, I'll jam out. <laughs> this is a confession. Can I confess something? Please confess. Please. Okay. Well, also, another thing is don't tell my mom. I won't tell her. I have drumsticks inside. Drums are my favorite instrument to play. Yeah, my favorite. Uh, they're my first instrument, too, uh, to play drums. And I have drumsticks in, like, the side compartment thing. And I'll be going down, and I'll turn on, like, Bruno Mars or some up or taking it to the streets or some up-tempo song, and I'll just drive on, get the cruise control, and, like, the side thing will be, like, my, my, kicks, my kick. And then I'll just I'll jam on the steering wheel with my drumsticks. If you look at my steering wheel, you can see all these little marks, and that's just from me jamming out. I'll sing, I'll play drums, <laughs> I've played the guitar before while driving and like long road trips. I've written a song in the car. Horrible advice, don't ever do that. Both hands on the wheel and you know, ten and two and don't ever do do that. But I have I have done that a couple of times. Amazing confession. Cop pulls you over, he's like, ID <laughs> Uh, insurance and drumsticks. <laughs> yeah, like, sir, uh, were you, were you playing the guitar while you? And nope. Why is there a guitar right there? Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm, luckily, that's never happened. No drumming and driving, people. No drumming and driving. Actually, I like uh, the drums too. I like to rap over the drums. That's a confession. Is that right? Yeah. It's funny. I don't know if you're saying that because no, I, I rap. You've heard some. You rap? Yeah. Okay. I, just, I, just, I believe you. I, I, another thing that I will do, I just told this in another interview like a week ago uh, with Idol, but another thing I'll do is I'll turn on like Dr. Dre instrumentals and I'll just like freestyle for hours. Like if I have like a four hour drive, I'll just freestyle. Can you be my best friend? I'm the freestyle master. Is that right? 
Oh my God, I will, I will turn on instrumentals in my living room and my mom will be in the other room like, okay. And I'll be rapping to Eminem, That's Rap awesome. God, I'll call it Rap Goddess. I'll be That's rapping to awesome. Little Kim. I mean, you, and I'll, I'll literally drop a beat on my radio show. I'll start rapping. I'm like, oh, I got a show to do. Don't care. But I actually, I, I rap. So I'm making an album right now, but it should be a freestyle album. That's awesome. I'm not good. Don't, don't be, I'm not good. It's just fun. Drop a drop a line because you know B Booth here we drop uh, lines. Uh, drop just you just give me a beat? no just acapella. <laughs> eh, yeah. You gotta give me something. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I gotta find it. Are we gonna do it? Yeah, I'll do Is it. Is he you really gotta, gonna do it? You give me a beat, I'll I'll do something. Uh. All right, I'm sitting here and they're asking me to freestyle. I don't know what to say because I haven't done it in a while, but I'm not really a rapper. I'm not so dapper, but I'm going to say whatever I can say to keep flowing because there's nothing you can do because I'll just keep on going. Are you going to be going? Acapella people, that's a real rapper. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. I'm sorry you had to see that. I don't. That was awesome. <laughs> Dropping a line with you is cool. Yeah. You know what, though? Music is so therapeutic. How do you feel, you know, music has changed your life? Oh, God. Music. Music. Music is my life, you know. It's, it's the, it's the primary component of my life. Um, it's, it's, it's. You know, if if you look at the back of a shirt, it's like, 75% cotton, 24% polyester. You know, the, if you if I was a t-shirt and you looked at the back, it would be like, 99% music. You know, 1%. I don't know. Maybe it's 100%. But music is. 1% rapper, 90% music. Well, rap is music. Good rap is music, anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, music. It's been my life from when I was a little kid, listening to my dad sing, and from right now to want to do it for the rest of my life, all all day, every day. Uh, yeah, that, I I don't know how to answer because it, it just is my life. Yeah. Three before you go, three top rap, favorite rappers. Um. Uh, you got. Uh, Nas. Nas, okay. Um, most deaf. I like most deaf. Okay. Like 90s. 90s. I love yeah. 90s. And then um, I love John Bellion. He's a new guy. No one, he sings and raps. Doesn't like, like he rarely will he have a song where he spits like eight bars or so. But like he'll, he'll rap a little bit. And I love <coughs> Black Keys. who's another guy of his friend. And he's, he's kind of like a classic rapper. But those, those are my dudes. Love it, love it. Thanks for showing us so much love right there. See that camera? Show us some love. Get really close. Tell us how much you love us. Love. Uh, this is my, this is my love. He's sending love there, and I'm sending love to him. And I'm throwing <laughs> it right back at you.